Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. We are in the mid of video lecture where we are learning about how to do we develop applications for Android. In this tutorial, we will be setting up app, setting up our Android Studio for the application development. The best part about Android being that Android is supported on all the platforms. Let it be Windows, let it be Mac, let it be Linux. Obviously, Linux being the most supported and followed by Mac, followed by Windows. In this, we, in this video, we will be learning of setting up of Android Studio on the Windows machine. Also for information, Android Studio is the official ID for the application development on Android. Now, in the Android installation, we need to make sure that we are having the JDK before we, we set up or we start installing Studio. JDK, as I told you, is a prerequisite for downloading or for starting the installation of your Android Studio. Now we visit the official website of Oracle where we download the JDK. Now we are downloading this JDK 7 for our own machine. We need to make sure that you are downloading the version that is matching your requirement. Also make sure you have read the terms and conditions before downloading the particular software. Now for me it's a Windows machine. I am downloading this one over here. The pop-up comes. I save it over here and it will download. In the meantime it's downloading, we can go back and download the official Android Studio from the web or Android website. So now let's go to the Android website that is developer.android.com and install Android Studio. Here's it. This is the official website of Android Studio. We visit this website and we'll be downloading Android Studio over here. So this is the Android Studio over here. This button will lead you to the process of downloading of Android Studio for a local machine. We click this one. A pop-up comes up with the terms and conditions. Make sure you have read all of the conditions before you download them. Now we are good to download. We download this one. We click on save. Now, both of these things will be downloaded, then we can go ahead and install them onto our machines. Android Studio is a bulky software, something 1.3 GBs. For Windows, you need to have patience for it. Then we will, I will be guiding you how do you take, take this downloading uh, the softwares into the installation on your own machine in the meanwhile. Yeah, uh, so guys, now let's see how do we install the two softwares that we have just downloaded onto our machines onto our local setup. Uh, I have downloaded these softwares onto my desktop folder. So I navigate to desktop over here. Yeah, in the Android folder, I these are the two softwares that are just downloaded. Now I need to start with the installation of JDK first and then I would move to the installation of Android Studio. So double click your JDK would be showing a pop-up wherein it would be asking you that are you sure you want to allow this application to make some changes to your device we click on yes and we continue so this wizard is about uh, the installation process it's saying that uh, welcome to installation we click on next then it is saying where do you want to install the JDK I'm installing my JDK into C program files Java JDK 1.7 uh, I click on next yeah so this is uh, this process generally takes uh, two to three minutes first it will install the jdk and then it will also install the jre that this jdk needs yeah so it's extracting it's installing the plugin now it's started the installation of jre yeah it's back here the files yeah now we're asking where do you want to install the jre for me i have installed my jre into the program files in c and then in java and then in jre 7 I click on next. Registering the JRE, I think that's good. It's there's no error as of now. If you are failing, uh, facing any uh, issues in this in this installation process, or if you are uh, failing in while installing, you need to check again. Either you have a mismatch of the versions. Rest, these things should install uh, very easily on your machine. So we click on close, and now we are good. We are done with the installation of JDK onto our local machine. So after the installation of JDK, the next step or the next installation is the installation of Android Studio. In the Windows, Android Studio is a bulky software. It weighs something around one and a half GBs. 
so we have so this is the verification of the setup it is setting it is checking that if the setup has been downloaded is proper and it is having every component this might take a bit longer on your machines if you are using some slow machines on faster machines with the 8 GB of RAM this this process runs pr pr pretty pretty fast being honest again it's asking me are you sure you want to install this uh, Android studio onto your machine I click on yes and then I continue to the installation of Android studio onto my machine yeah welcome to Android studio setup I click on it's, it's asking me to close all the before starting that up is, uh, yeah it's asking that uh, you know you you were recommended to close all other applications before setting up so that you you don't need to reboot your system uh, and if it changes any uh, system files it's fine I'm clicking on the next it is asking what do I want to install I'm installing the Android studio the Android SDK and the Android virtual device this would be asking a space of around four and a half GBs. Uh, this is the term and condition. You need to make sure you have read all the terms and condition before you click I agree. I agree. Okay, so where it's asking, it's asking to install in C program files, Android, Android Studio, C, Android SDK. That's good. The, the installation looks pretty well as of now. It's asking, are you sure you want to create a start menu folder? Yeah, I want to start menu folder with the name of Android Studio. I click on next. This process also would be taking some time. So you have to have the patience for it. And so after we are done with the installation of the SDK, then we have to uh, configure our studio and then we can start with the first or the very first applications that we will be seeing in the upcoming sections. So it's 94% done, uh, just two more minutes, three more minutes. So you can check that, you know, whatever is being extracted this uh, from Android SDK would be going into the C Android SDK folder. Let's go and check what what would progress over there. This is Android and this is my SDK. See, these are folders were available in the, in the zip file add-ons, build tool, documents. These might seem something unnecessary, something unrelevant to you or unknowledgeable to you. Don't worry, as we go on and as we go ahead in the se sections or in the sessions, you would be having knowledge of all of these things. Trust me on that. So good, 98% and 99%, almost done. So the extracting of SDK has been successfully completed. Yeah. So the installation is complete. Uh, we click on next. So it's asking completing Android setup. So Android has been Android Studio has been successfully installed onto your computer. Click finish to close the setup. Also, this is a checkbox. If you wish to start your Android Studio now, you can click this. Otherwise, uh, you can just click on finish by unchecking this. This would be good. Let's uh, and in the next section, we would be covering up how do we actually go on and start the studio and how do I will be taking you through step by step procedure for this. Stay tuned for the next session. See you soon, guys. Thank you.